Joining us today is Helen Zoki, Commissioner of Victorian Equal Opportunities and Human Rights Commission, who will be speaking at IIR's Correctional Services Healthcare Summit, which takes place on the 27th to 28th of October 2010 in Melbourne. Hello, Helen. Nice of you to join us today. Thank you very much. First of all, what do you believe to be the key issues currently facing healthcare within correctional facilities? Well, I think the biggest challenge is to remember that uh, prisoners still have human rights and so all of the basic um, uh, principles of good practice within healthcare settings should apply to them. Um, so that is that it should be client-focused, it should be uh, targeted to what their needs are and should they need to move around correctional facilities then obviously there needs to be some sort of continuity of care and holistic care dealing with whatever issues they may face. And how can human rights be protected in the correctional system? Well, I think that this is always a, a big challenge. In Victoria, we do have a, uh, a, a Charter of Human Rights and Responsibilities which imposes a po positive obligation or a duty, if you like, on all correctional systems to comply with the rights that are contained in that Charter. Um, for other areas, I think that uh, other states that perhaps don't have a law that guides their activities, I think that uh, it would be really terrific to actually see that they adopt a voluntary Charter of Human Rights that guides the treatment of prisoners and staff uh, in terms of how they execute their duties on a day-to-day -day basis. How does Australia fare in comparison with other nations when it comes to human rights issues in such facilities? Yeah, well, I don't have a comprehensive knowledge, I must say, of other, of other countries, but um, I suspect, as in many things, um, Australia is probably doing better than many other places, but that still doesn't mean that we should rest on our laurels. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, the thing that uh, we keep in mind is that uh, everyone has human rights, whether they're in prison or whether they're not in prison, and really the measure of uh, us as a community is how well we treat uh, those people who, if you like, have done the wrong thing, as well as um, just generally how we treat each other. So um, I, I suspect that whilst we're probably much higher up on the hierarchy of better treatment of prisoners, uh, we should still aspire to things beyond that. You're speaking at IIR's Correctional Services Healthcare Summit, which takes mm -hmm. place on the 27th to 28th of October 2010 in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. What will be the focus of your presentation? Well, I, I, clearly I, I have a particular interest in human rights and how they apply to correctional settings. And I'll probably draw on some of the specific work that we have done around women in prison and issues that specifically face women prisoners in relation to their own human rights. And how do you hope that delegates will benefit from your presentation? Well, I really um, want to be um, bold enough to say that I hope delegates will be inspired and that I might uh, push them to think a little differently about how they do their day-to-day -day roles um, and perhaps at the end of the conference they can give me the feedback about whether or not I've succeeded in doing that. Dr Helen Zoki, many thanks for your time today. Thanks very much, James.